If, if it weren't for golf, what do you think you'll be doing now instead? Um, everyone on my dad's side of the family um, are professors. Okay. Um, so growing up, I grew up on a college campus. My dad was a professor. So, you know, I love that lifestyle, the teaching, and I used to go to his classes all the time. So when I was younger, I always thought I would become a professor, like nothing else. That was kind of like the route that mm -hmm. I was uh, supposed to take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So if you weren't playing golf, you'd probably be a a professor or a lecturer right For now. For sure. Or a yeah. teacher. Yeah, that would definitely okay. be something I'm interested in. How do you relax away from golf? Um, I enjoy a lot of different activities. Mm -hmm. um, I love being in, in the ocean, in the water. I'm a big beach girl. Mm -hmm. I love to paddleboard. I love to snorkel and swim. Because you grew up in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I also, um, like I told you before, I like to do my nails. Uh -huh. And um, I like to do a lot of arts and crafts. I love baking, you know, painting, uh -huh, uh -huh. doing little DIY things. Um, so. I saw some of your artwork on your <laughs> website. They're really good. Thank you. Maybe you should pursue being an artist once you know, once you've retired I don't think I'm that Paul. good. <laughs> Just doodle. You never know. You never know. And your nails? You do your own nails? I do. Yeah? Yeah. So that might be a career as well <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Open your own nail salon. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Well, um, um, I checked out your Instagram account yeah. and your description says um, living life to the fullest while working hard every day to get closer to my dreams. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the dreams that you had that are still unfulfilled? Um, for me, I think golf wise, I think winning a major mm -hmm. um, for sure and you know, winning more golf tournaments and just becoming the best player that I can be yeah. um, and just Obviously, you know, dominating the tour would be is definitely my dream. Mm -hmm. But my bigger dream in life is just to be happy. Okay. You know, I think that there could, there's a lot of materialistic goals, but in the end, you know, if you look back and you know re, you kind of regret or you don't have fun or you don't enjoy yourself, then I don't really think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my dream is to really look back at my life and just feel like I did something. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to have a positive influence yeah. on on younger kids, on younger generations, and, you know, I want to inspire people, and I just want to, you know, show people that you don't have to follow the norm, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to do something, no matter how crazy your dream is, you know, there have been so many people that told me that, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, mm -hmm. you can't go to college, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, education has been really important to me, and I want to influence people in the way that you can, you can achieve your dream no matter what it is. Okay. I know you speak very fluent Korean. Yeah. Do you are you into the whole K-pop Korean <laughs> wave kind of thing? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, not too much, <laughs> but I definitely follow some groups. Okay, that I really like. like. Um, I really like Twenty One. Okay. They're my favorite, and I like Big Bang as well. Um, those are the two groups that I really follow. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? I literally listen to anything. Really? I go from rap to techno to country music to K-pop, um, classical. I literally enjoy every single type of music genre. Okay. How about before a tournament? What what kind of music psych you up? Um, a lot of times I get too excited, so I try to <laughs> listen to music that calms me down. Okay. So a lot of reggae mm -hmm. and, and you know Hawaiian island music. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you have like a ritual before you go out onto the green that you do? Um, just to you know, calm yourself down or just psych yourself up. I like doing my workout routine, my okay. warm up routine. I just kind of like doing the same thing, just to know I've kind of checked everything off my box. Yeah. Um, a little superstition, I guess. Okay. I put on my left sock always before my right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> left before the right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I have little L and R's written on my sock, so I have to make sure that they're on the right foot. But then you just feel weird if your right sock is on your left foot and if your left sock is on is your right. Is there a difference? There is no difference. I don't know why they put the L and R on them, but it freaks me out every time I put my socks on. Okay. Um, three words to describe Michelle Wee. Oh, I as never a know what to say when they ask me this. Really? Um, I hope they say fun. Okay. Um, I hope they say... Um, Hardworking is not one word, but could be. We'll let um, it go. We'll let it pop. We'll let it go. Yeah. Um, I think. I don't know what else. <laughs> Creative? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>